In addition to the Etchy Going Formation in the Kettleman Hills, there are also two other formations that we've studied in the area. And the next formation that we'll talk about that's younger than the Etchy Going Formation is called the San Joaquin Formation. And one of the zones that we distinguish in the San Joaquin Formation is called the Pectin Zone. And, it's and pectins are a kind of bivalve or scallop that has a very distinctive shell with these uh, folds or ridges. Sometimes the shells are very curved like this one. Other times they may be more flat, but it's a very recognizable shell and they can be very, very common in this zone. And so we always know when we're in the pectin zone by the presence of uh, this genus of clam uh, called pectins. There are other kinds of fossils that are associated with the pectin zone. I find it one of the most fascinating zones in the Kettleman Hills. Uh, you even find corals. So this is a variety of uh, corals that lived uh, in the sea all those millions of years ago. And so we find uh, this particular uh, variety of organism uh, there as well. And so in addition to the corals and um, the, the pectin or scallop shells, uh, we often find uh, vertebrate remains as well. Uh, and so we're in the process of identifying these vertebrate bones and it's very exciting uh, when we find these as well. Um, there are also uh, other kinds of invertebrates. There are uh, oyster shells that have um, a distinctive characteristic as well. And so sometimes we find these associated uh, with the uh, scallops and the corals and with some of the uh, vertebrates that we find from this area.